the specific recommendations of the governor. This is final action. Senate Bill 2800. President Harmon, Mr. Secretary, please read the motion. I move to accept the spe specific recommendations of the governor as to Senate Bill 2800 in manner and form as follows. Amendment to Senate Bill 2800 in acceptance of governor's recommendations. Amend Senate Bill 2800 on page 3088 by deleting lines 8 through 12 and inserting in lieu thereof the following. Article 99. Section 99, effective date. This act takes effect upon becoming law, except that Articles 25 through 129, Articles 137 through 173, and Article 997 take effect July 1st, 2021, dated June 15th, 2021, and signed by President Don Harmon. President Harmon, on your motion. Thank you, Mr. President, ladies and gentlemen of the Senate. Senate uh, Bill 2800 is our uh, annual operating budget and the capital uh, appropriations and reappropriations. There's a Scrivener's error in the, uh, in the bill uh, relating to the effective dates of various sections, and the governor has uh, uh, specifically recommended we change uh, those dates. This is consistent with the intent of the General Assembly at passage of the bill, and for that reason, I move to accept the governor's specific recommendations for change. Is there any discussion? Senator Berrickman. Uh, to, the, to the motion. To the motion. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, let's, let's be clear about what's going on here, right? Uh, this side of the aisle has said on countless occasions that the manner in which complex and controversial legislation is passed need not be done in the way that it's being done these days, right? We, don't, we, we have a legislative process that is designed to give in transparency and allow people to have input in that process, but instead of embracing this, the majority party, what we see is a continuous desire to operate through an expeditious process in the dark of the night without any transparency that results in things like this, chaos. It's important to note that it need not be this way. What does it say about the legislature and about the majority that while countless people were sleeping in the state, you rushed through a $42 billion budget so fatally flawed that you had to use a procedural mechanism that even Speaker Madigan wouldn't use to rescue it. And even further, what's it say about the governor? Right, the governor, who again, the governor held himself out, he told all those voters, don't worry guys, gals, I'll be different. I'll be a reformer, I'll stand up to the shows and the charades and the political class and the status quo. Well, Governor, here was your chance yet again to impress upon Illinoisans that you're actually different. You could have used your veto authority here and taken care of not only the pork that sits in the budget, but those pay raises that even you all said you don't want, supposedly. The governor could have used his amendatory veto and struck those pay raises right out of here. He could have stood up for Illinoisans and said, you know what, I'm for you, the people. But yet again, the governor caved to the political class to help out the majority who passed a budget in the middle of the night that was so wrecked and damaged that we evidently had to come back and fix it. Urge a no vote. Thank you, Mr. President. For the discussion, President Harmon to close. <sighs> now, some of you might recall I had filed a motion to reconsider on the budget, 
but the Senate Republican deputy parliamentarian was so eager to send the bill to the governor that uh, we lifted that uh, motion quickly. Um, perhaps we would have been able to deal with it then, uh, but we recognize our mistakes and we learn from them. I invite you to do the same and join me in voting aye to implement the budget that you were so eager to send to the governor. The question is, shall the Senate accept the specific recommendations of the governor as to Senate Bill 2800 in the manner and form set forth in the motion? As the bill has an immediate effective date, it is the ruling of the chair that the pursuant to Section 10 of Article 4 of the Illinois Constitution, the passage of this measure will require a three-fifths majority. All those in favor of vote aye, oppose nay, the voting is open. Have all voted to wish? Let's go to our remote voters. Senator Elman. Senator Harris. Harris votes yes. Senator Harris votes yes. Senator Hunter. Hunter votes yes. Senator Hunter votes yes. Senator Jones. Senator Jones votes yes. Senator Jones, I need to see you. Votes yes. Senator Jones votes yes. Senator Plummer. Plummer votes yes. Senator Plummer, I need to see you. Yeah, camera's on, Mr. President. Plummer votes yes. Senator Plummer votes yes. Senator Rose. Rose votes no. Senator Rose votes no. Senator Sims. Sims votes aye. Senator Sims votes yes. Senator Stewart. Stewart votes no. I need to see you, Senator Stewart. Stewart votes no. Senator Stewart votes no. Is Senator Van Pelt? Senator Van Pelt votes yes. S Senator Van yes. Pelt, I need to see yes. you. Yes. Senator Van Pelt votes yes. Senator Wilcox. Mr. President. Uh, Senator Plummer, I, I intended to vote no on this bill. My apologies, Mr. President. Senator, Senator Wilcox Plummer votes, votes, votes no instead of voting yes. So, Senator Plummer. Senator Wilcox? Senator Wilcox votes no. Senator Wilcox votes no. Have all voted to wish? Have all voted to wish? Take the record on that question. There are 36 voting yay, 21 voting nay, none voting present. Uh, the specific recommendations of the governor as to Senate Bill 2800 2800 having received the required constitutional majority are declared accepted thanks for watching and if you haven't already please consider subscribing to our channel and while you're at it please leave us a comment thank you for watching